Okay, folks, listen, I'm back at it again. Listen, I read you guys' uh, comments. Everybody wanted to see me get back into doing these advertising, and specifically, you want to see these wings, right? You didn't already seen that thumbnail, so you know what we're doing. Today, we're making honey lemon pepper wings. Let's get it. Okay, listen, these are so easy to do, so listen, right off the rip, we want to go ahead and just go ahead and hit bake. We want to preheat our oven to 450 degrees. As you guys can see, I'm already hot and ready to go. Now, if you come over here, now, what you want to do is you want to take all your dry ingredients and, you know, put them together, right? So this, I'm going to go ahead and add this, this, right? And then when it comes to your, you know, your herbs and spices, you just want to get yourself about a tablespoon, right? So when you have it like this, I'm getting ready to, you know, get to whisk and whisk it all together, right? There's one thing that I'm missing right now that I like to put on everything, and that's always fresh, black, cracked pepper. All right, so once we got, you know, our seasoning prep. We washed and did everything. Now look, this is the one thing I want to show you guys. You see this? I'm gonna go ahead and explain this right now. That's gonna be, when I say the bottom of it, that's the bottom and this should be the top. I want to finish with this, right? So when I put them on in, on the silicone mat, I want to have them like that. Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking at these just to inspect them, just to see that they need to be trimmed. All this loose stuff right here, make for them funny colors and all of that. So just take it, cut it off. You got anything that's loose, trimmed up, ready to go. We got this back out, right? Now we wanna just go ahead and put our season on here. You know what I mean? Cause I'm gonna do a little bit of a toss. You know what I mean? This is why I left it in this bowl right here, right? Now notice I put a little bit on here, right? Then I'm gonna get in here with this hand. No, I'm gonna use this hand. It really doesn't make no difference, right? And I'm just getting ready to coat it. As you can see, look at that right there. And because of everything that I do, I like to see my pepper, right? And one thing that I didn't say, listen, if you guys got your favorite seasoning you would like to use, use it there. I could have used my all purpose on this right here, but I did a different all purpose, you know. If you guys, for those of you guys that have it, I don't, I didn't do the traditional, you know, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, you know, that blend, right? I did something that's really, really good. You guys got to give it a chance, but that's my true all purpose, right? So I could have used that, but right now I'm just doing something that you guys are familiar with, right? So let me just continue to finish this up. And then we just add this to the, you know, to the pan. Just spray a little bit down here, just like that. You don't need much, right? Now, remember earlier I told you guys about the top and the bottom. We want to put these down just like this, right? You want the top part down because we want to finish that way, right? So listen, we got to get this to cook, even though we putting it in there and the wing's not going to render a whole lot of, you know, grease or, or fat from it, right? So we help it along and this is what helps cook it and get it a little bit crispy, right? But don't forget, we had the flour and then we had the, uh, we got the cornstarch. So listen, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna spray it lightly. 35 minutes, let's just say we are gonna say 40 minutes. Let's just keep the numbers even. Let's say 40 minutes, right? That'll be a base. So in 20 minutes, I'm gonna flip everything over. Then do another little respray, a real, real light respray, respray, right? So 40 minutes, probably about total. We don't wanna go past 165, right? So in 20 minutes, we turn. So, set them in the oven. Look at that right there. Okay, folks, so listen, timer just went off 20 minutes, right? Whether we're doing 35, it really, I guess it really depends on the altitude, you know, your stove and, you know, your oven and all of that, right? But like I said, what I'm doing is I'm doing 40 minutes, right? So 20 minutes, we just go ahead and pull this out right here and look at that right there. Let me hurry up and close this so we can get back. Look. Mm, mm. Get your tones right, and what we're gonna do is we just gonna flip these over. Now, remember I said we're gonna spray lightly, but no need to really spray. Look at that right there. Oh man. Okay, folks. So look, after flipping them all over, look at them right here. They got enough oil on them that had rendered down, and don't forget I sprayed the mat a little bit, so it's no need for me to go ahead and put nothing, you know, to spread right. So we dropped our temperature at 425. So what I'm gonna do is I want to do this quickly. I don't want to lose nothing, right? And I'm finna check these in about 25, no, excuse me. I'm gonna check these in about 15 minutes, right? So I know 20 and 15 make 35, but we gonna see where we at. All right, so listen, we getting ready to, you know, take it out. We becoming, the, we coming up on a witching hour, right? I call it witching hour when we start checking the temp. But before we do that, right? I say about five minutes, six to seven minutes before that. Now we gonna make the sauce, right? The sauce is everything. So first thing we getting ready to do is, is add our lemon juice. Right? You don't need a whole lot of lemon juice. You guys know it's like super, you know, potent butter. Now, because I watch my salt intake, I'm using that right there. That butter right there is unsalted. You guys can use salted too. 
I mean, I like it, but you know, I like to be able to add my salt at the end if I need it. You know what I mean? Instead of me just giving it to everybody, right? So then you're gonna take yourself a lemon. I haven't turned my fire on and what we want to do is we just gonna zest this whole thing, All right? So I'm gonna just, now I'm getting ready to put a little fire underneath here, right? So we're just gonna start off with a medium heat. That's high for this burner. That's, let's see if I can show you guys high and that's low. So I just want to be about right here in the middle. That's cool. Don't forget we want to melt some of that butter, right? Now, as that's melting, I got some garlic cloves right here. What I'm getting ready to do is, oh, you know what? Now would be a good time for me to introduce this. Check it out, folks. Got my own garlic press. I like it. It's got the SG on it. I started, I have one that says smoking and grilling, but I chose this. Just shorten it down, you know, just trying to get the, the brand out there. So a lot of times you'll hear me refer to S and G, right? So there it is. One more time. And then check it out. You guys get a chance to see how it works, right? So I'll stick this in here like that. And this one in here. I want you to notice how much that it renders, right? We just put this down. All right, so got my honey. We had a half a cup. Now I'm getting ready to just pour this in the inside like this, right? I got a little tip too. If you guys spray this with a nine cooking spray, you know what I mean? Uh, it'll make it just a little bit more easier for this to come out. But I got the right tool for the job. Notice that I got my spat spatula. I got a small spatula, right? And guess what, folks? I'm able to almost get it all. And then we're gonna add a little bit of this black pepper to it. Now, this is fine. This is what you more, most people probably use to cook with. You know what I mean? It's a fine blend or a fine, excuse me, it's a fine grind, right? But I'm gonna go here, loosen this up just a little bit and get some, just a little bit more on the crack side. You know, get them a little bit, a little bit bigger. Okay, so at 425, we went for 15 minutes, right? Look at them right there. Them look right. I can see they even starting to get a little bit on the crispy side, right? So I take one of these, these drumettes, and I go in here on this thick side, right? And then I check them. And these all seem to be ready. Now, listen, this is nice. Once you start to see it start to form a little boil, you know what I mean? Uh, mm, I can't wait to taste these. Now, again, I'm gonna hit it with this press. Look at how much comes out of this press, this style. Now, before I was using a different kind, nothing wrong with it, you know what I mean? But just look at what this rendered just from two garlic cloves, right? Mm. Now we let the heat, you know what I mean? Work with that little minced garlic and let it release his aromatic into this right here. And this right here is gonna be nice, folks. Right, so we have a little bit of honey, and the last thing we're gonna do is just add a pinch of salt. Oh, that's it. All right, so listen, out of the oven, right? For those of you guys that don't wanna put the sauce on there, just to show you, if you make them the way I made them right here, listen to this right here. You hear that? Crispy. You, I hear a lot of people say, hey, you can't get it, but yes, sir, yes, you can. Now, I could have made these outside on the grill too, but just giving you guys an option if you wanna go ahead and use your oven. These could have been made on the air fryer, you know what I mean, uh, in the air fryer or outside on the grill. And you can do it with sauce, sauce or no sauce. Now, I'm cooking this down right here. This is starting to thicken up nice. I can tell you that even if you leave it like this, once I put it in this bowl, because you wanna have a big enough bowl. So while we waiting, what I'm gonna do is, let me grab this, and we're just gonna take these. Listen at them. You can just hear that they're already crispy, right? So I'll stick these in here now. I'm getting ready to turn that off, and then we're gonna pour this uh, sauce right on the top, and then we're gonna toss them. All right, folks. So just as this cooled, you know what I mean? It starts to thicken up a little bit. You can see it's not as runny as, as before, but we still want it to coat, right? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it, and I'm not gonna pour all of it in there. I'm just gonna pour some of it. You know what I mean? You guys can double this recipe. You know what I mean? Really, that's all you need. Now I can get in here with my hand and do it, but I'm gonna try to do this. I always put some of this on the floor, but what we finna do is we finna toss, folks. Okay, folks, so listen, we done. I'm done taking pictures of it. I showed you guys they were crispy from the very beginning, but once you put something wet on there, it might soften up just a little bit, but it still give you a little bit of, you know they were crispy, like super crispy, right? Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm gonna take one of these flats, 
You see this right here? And this to know when you cook them just right, and that's thanks to these meat thermometers, right? Listen, when you do them like that, let me see right here. Look at, look at how they just tear. Look at that right there. I'm not using a whole lot of force. They still nice, juicy. You know what I mean? I can pull this bone out right here. Mm, but I'm not wasting none of this. I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it real with y'all folks. When they come out clean like this, they cooked all the way through. All right? I can take it here if I wanna dip a little bit more because I reserved a little bit back. And guess what, folks? Cheers. Oh. So check it out, folks. I know we always do the lemon pepper. We do the wet, the dry, and all of that. Now we adding the honey, doing it a little wet dip. This right here is fire folks and super easy to uh to make now let i gotta say this listen if i'm in front of the camera i give you guys the real i wouldn't make nothing that don't taste good but i got somebody i'm gonna bring on here right now because listen this week if you guys been following me for a minute you know nader this is uh she told me this is what this week is gonna be that's bring your sibling you know to the you know to work with you so i got our little brother right here come on in here so look at that camera right there and tell everybody say hello. hello hey listen i know he gonna be shy you know what I mean? He said he wanted to be in it, so let's do it. Now, I'm not gonna say nothing to him. I'm gonna let him pull one of these. Look, this your napkin. You know what I mean? Go ahead and eat you one of these. Okay. Get one. I'm gonna choose All right, because once you touch it, you bought it. All right, so now, go ahead. Come on over here. Now, do your thing. Eat it, taste it. Take a bite. You all right? Hey, here, let me get you this napkin right here. Hold that. Is, is it good? Huh? It's really you, good. You like, yeah, that's what I thought. It's fire. Huh? It's fire. Oh, hey, listen, that's authentic, folks. Unless you heard me walking around here saying that. Listen, you heard it, you know, hands down, this is it. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. And you know what? We're going to say, hey, good job to Eli. You know what? Make his day. Right down there at the bottom, and, you know, down in the comment section below. Just say, hey, what a, uh, Eli, you did great. Hey, and he got a biblical name too. You know he fire. That right there is just all good. Now, I'm not finna over talk it. Listen, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes to take the mystery out of cooking. And if you wanna know why I'm laughing, cause I can hear him, he chomping down and he getting it in. And guess what folks, me and him, we out. Peace.